got here is a little Power Queen 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Let's open it up and take a look at it. Alright, we got our uh, manual and stuff here and a quick start guide and this little envelope thing. Post bolts here. Looks like it's got a set of M8 bolts and some protective caps. Typical foam stuff. And our little battery. So we got Power Queen lithium iron phosphate 12.8 volt 50 amp hour lithium iron, phosphate, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery and their website. Same thing on top, there's a serial number there on the back and your uh, website address, email address, 640 watt hours and all of your uh, certifications and uh, recycle logos and all that sort of thing. All right, this is gonna be a pretty quick video because I'm not sure uh, how much interest there's gonna be in something as small as a 50 amp hour, but um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with Power Queen. They've been around a long time. They've got a good brand reputation. Uh, when they contacted me about sending this over, I said, sure, why not? I'll take a look at it. We'll start by hooking this up, charge it up all the way, and uh, do a capacity test on it. Then we'll go over that manual then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So let's get this hooked up. I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. All right, we're all charged up now. Let's go ahead and get this off the charger. And we'll get this capacity test started. All right, we'll go over this manual here and see what the specifications are. So we got a manual and a quick start guide. And there's a quick start guide here and a little pack of stickers. We're just gonna go right for the manual here. All right, so we got 12.8 volt, 50 amp hour with a 50 amp BMS. And uh, your product overview, 12.8 volt, charging voltage 14.4 plus or minus 2. Recommended charge current is 10 amps. Maximum continuous discharge current, 50 amp continuous output power, 640 watts. So I wouldn't put much more than a 600 watt inverter on this if you're only using a single battery. And there's our dimensions there. 6.69 inches tall, 7.79 .79 inches wide, and 6.53 wide. Or deep, I guess. Safety instructions, a warning. I hate this shadow right here. Uh, let's see, basic how to hook the battery up. And 
table of contents in the middle of the book for some reason. And we've got prismatic cells, 12.8 volt, 50 amp hour, 640 watt hours, uh, 50 amp BMS. Now we've already went over all that. Max continuous charge current is 50 amps and discharge is 50 amps. Max discharge for uh, 5 seconds is 100 amp. Max continuous power output is 640. And uh, dimensions and all that sort of stuff. And how to hook your uh, solar uh, charge controller configuration and stuff, battery charging options, uh, hooking to uh, parallel and series and stuff, and um, if, it, if it's not working, if it's completely disconnected, how to uh, wake your battery up, and uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, so here's my final thoughts on this battery. Now, I, I'm on my channel, I mostly deal with 100 amp hour or more, so this is my first 50 amp hour battery. So I'm not entirely sure what uh, kind of applications a 50 amp hour battery would have, but off the top of my head, what I can think of is if you're building a small uh, DIY portable power station or something, and you wanted something nice and lightweight uh, just for camping or running a DC refrigerator and charging some phones and stuff like that, this would probably be a pretty good choice because it's nice and lightweight and small and compact. All right, so this would pair up really nicely with a 100 watt solar panel to 150, even a 200 watt solar panel, say. And uh, if you just wanted to dip your toes in the water with solar, this might be a good little starting point to start off small and relatively inexpensively just to, uh, uh, you know, just dip your toes in the water and see if the uh, the solar thing is for you and then You'll be like everybody else, you get bit by the solar bug, and then you'll be upgrading to 100 amp hour battery. So, my personal recommendation is to start with a 100 amp hour battery. And again, Power Queen is a reputable brand, and one of their 100, watt, or 100 amp hour batteries would be perfectly acceptable. I'll go ahead and drop some links down below to their website, and you can check it out to see what they have to offer. But. Uh, if you want to see some of my other battery review videos, I'll drop a link right here. And if you want to see my latest video, I'll drop a link right here. That's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.